Kim Jong-il is inspecting scientific research institutes, stressing the need to give top priority to the development of science anchored on economic progress and people's well-being. With a keen eye on the prospect of a powerful nation and high living standards, he teaches the way to train talents who will raise career to the level of the world's technological powers. As a solution to the food problem, he emphasizes that in view of the limited area of arable land in Korea, two crop farming should be encouraged and the principle of right crop on the right soil be strictly observed. He has designated Daehongdan County with a vast open fields as the peace center of potato farming and visited this remote area on several occasions. State-of-the-art poultry and livestock farms have mushroomed in the wake of its ceaseless trips. The development of the 40-kilometer-long orchards in Quail County and the construction of catfish farms around the country are all offsprings of its devotion to the good of the people. In order to tackle the problem of clothing, he inspects textile mills, indicating ways of placing the textile industry on a modern scientific footing. He throws foodstuff factories in his efforts to improve the people's diet. At the cosmetics factory, he encourages the workers to produce quality toilet articles in a great quantity for the people. At all times he finds himself among the people, saying, we must grow flowers even on the rock if it is a people's wish. As he is the incarnation of love for the people, the people believe in him as in the heaven. His indefatigable guidance has opened up a bright vista in the cause of national reunification as well. Whenever he meets the visiting overseas Koreans, he says that hard work for national reunification means patriotism and that reunification should be achieved by Koreans' efforts under the banner of independence, peaceful reunification and great national unity. He encourages them, saying, Genuine patriotism is in the struggle for national reunification. We must reunify the country through the pooled efforts of the nation and hand over a reunified country to our posterity. 
Kim Jong-il is always ready to join hands with anyone who supports national reunification by transcending differences in political view, religious belief, ideology and tenets. He said, We are willing to welcome all who desire reunification regardless of their past records. It is our party's invariable stand that the gate to reunification should be flung open with the nation's united efforts. With a landmark inter-Korean summit, Kim Jong-il has written a new page in the annals of the cause of reunification. The June the 15th, 2000 North-South Joint Declaration has paved the way toward the independent reunification of the peninsula through national unity and signified a turning point in the process of inter-Korean reconciliation and unity. In a meeting with a mass media executives from South Korea, Kim Jong-il indicates the ways to pull down the barrier of division with inter-Korean unity and appears to rally the entire nation in this cause by unifying the purpose of media of the North and South. A rosy future is just on the horizon, coming nearer as Kim Jong-il, the leader of the Korean nation and leader star of national reunification, is steering this course forward by dint of his fervent patriotism and broad-minded personality. Mm -hmm.